Hi friends! This is Dainty Tank. Thank you for joining me. Welcome back to Tell Me Why. This is part four in the retry. I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate your words. I love every single one of you and thank you for being so supportive of me being actually open to you guys about what's happening. And this is such an impactful game. It matters so much and it's worth doing it right and doing it well so thank you for that we had just questioned uh tessa about conversion therapy which is ah sketch now we're going to the police station to end off this day of forever for the twins <laughs> <laughs> and saying hi to the chief, who's the chi same chief who did the whole, like, investigation. And is also Allison's, like, adoptive dad. There's so much here, and I have to say, like, I love Life is Strange. I don't think they understand what, like, a day constitutes. <laughs> I know they're trying to move it along for, like, in storylines and they don't want to have like days upon days in which you're going through this but like any single one of these episode chunks is a day <laughs> ah all right let's get into this boop continue i think it's only fair that i be damn they still got this creepy mascot huh it's a local hero. This thing scares kid. Yes. Yeah, I keep telling Eddie to get rid of it. He terrifies all the kids that come through here. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna be a little bit uh, vocal on this. I have been critical of police or anything police related in the past. Hold there's on. There's a good reason. I want to catch up on all the Delos Crossing gossip. Just public safety stuff. Uh. Oh, that's all just public safety stuff. Nothing that interesting. Oh! Of course. It's locked. Look. Let us take you for a ride. <laughs> no? Please, oh god, no. Want to see what a police officer does on the job? Register for a ride-along program! For more info, ask Chief Brown. Talk to Chief Brown for information. No. So, I'm very critical of the police. And there's many reasons why, especially being uh, queer in America. But, one of the big things here is that there is a lot of history with the police for me. I am the law. And it's exactly that. For me, the police were white supremacists. F p like, not even joking. Like, they had whole rallies in downtown that we got off school early for. Sponsored by the police. So yeah, no, none of it's good for well, me. Well, Officer Ronan. That kind of has a nice ring to it. No. Ah, where are you going? Resume! Too little, too late. Protect salmon migration. Oh, that's still not cleaned up? Assholes. I wonder if the black oyster catchers were still nesting during this spill. Hmm. God, I hope not. 100% college tuition paid? Damn. Maybe I should have joined the National Guard. Beats having your credit card stolen by an online college. Too soon, Tyler. Too soon. Oh, but since it was credit card, you could probably have gotten it back. But still, ugh, sorry about that. That really sucks. Please wait in line. So yeah, none of it was uh, good for me, honestly. And right along, I'm sorry. Home sweet home. Hmm. You spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. Hmm. <laughs> Missing. Remember Mr. Haynes? Vaguely. 
He had that workshop in his garage, right? Made those huge glass sculptures? Yeah. He's been missing for a couple months. Damn. Always liked his art. What? Claire Brown went missing on a snowmobile trip? Yeah. I thought you were still here when it happened. I don't remember it. They never did find him. This happened when we were kids, right? Yeah. Hmm. Marianne freaked out and wouldn't drive after dark for a few weeks. I can't believe they're still sending psychiatric patients to prison. Yeah, that's messed up. Yeah, I heard about that. It's so messed up. Let's see. 58, uh, 57, this date of birth, 5 foot 8, 200. Brown Brown, Eric Haynes was last seen, 708, 2015, 1200 hours, near mile 56 of the Rosewood Highway, wearing short sleeve black shirt, t blue jeans, and white sneakers. 33, born, uh, 1930, sorry, 1970, 5 foot 7, Brown Brown, Roberto Abian was last seen in Dallas Crossing, Alaska, near Cullen Boulevard on 2-11-2004. Green fisherman coat, rubber boots. His glasses and gloves were found adjacent to the bridge. Strickling shooting range. Ugh. Miserable. Okay. Nope. Snoop. Got a snoop? Ooh. Memo to all of police department personnel. Huh. Why do they look so familiar? Hmm. Patient transfer 10 26 2015 to Aldelos Plus Crossing. No. Please be advised of the overcrowding issues. Patients Dean Buck Becker and Kevin Sutton will be transferred to Follard Creek Correctional Society. The mailbox banned, huh? Okay. Yeah. Oh, Gregs. Just leaving this out on display again. Gregs? Like Officer Gregs? The one who was with us that night? Yeah, he's still here. He became a bit of a local celebrity after nabbing a murderer from Juno. The guy was hiding out on a fishing boat and got really, really sick after eating out of the chum bucket. Mm -hmm. So it was actually a pretty easy takedown. Mm. Rainbow Whale is the win. Oh my god, that's the cutest. Oh. Don't tell me he's got baby fever. Ew. You remember Dan and Shelby? I think so. The high schoolers who were always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Vecchi's parking lot. Yep. Dan's a cop now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Damn. When did everybody decide to become an adult? That's a good question. Oh my god, that's the cutest. It's cute, but don't tell me you've got baby fever. Ew, no. Why do men always jump to that? I love how accepting she is of Tyler as well. Like, just, of course. Yes. And that's exactly how it should be. Ah! Hmm. Wait, hold on. Oh. Come on, man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. Hmm. Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Me neither. Yeah, but trigger, my friends trigger. That's a thing. I'm sorry, loves. And it happens. It happens so much. Hello! Things to look at. Examine. That's Denise Wilson's desk. Remember her? Uh, Crazy D? Crazy the one who D. set fire to her ex's trailer? Ah! Allegedly set fire. She was acquitted. And that's Officer Wilson to you. Hmm. Oh no, it was her birthday. I completely forgot. You're a terrible person. It's your fault. 
I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. Right. Uh, draw dog. Wish her a happy birthday. Wish her a happy birthday. Maybe she won't notice that I added it afterward. I mean, honestly, I think she'll be fine with it. Just saying. Remember this fella? No way. Is that Jay? Yep. He, uh, he died last year putting himself between D and a bear. Oh, damn. Poor D. I was about to say, ouch. Poor, poor little one. Hello. I. I did a rod. I was a big Balto fan way back in the day. Have to say. Vichy. There's so much Vichy stuff. I know it's a small town. Whew. That is going to smell lovely tomorrow. It's from Tessa's restaurant, right? Uh-huh. Everyone eats there all the time. It's as exciting as food gets in Delos Crossing. Oh, fun. <sighs> yeah. Nope. Okay. Mm. Let me in. Still locked. If I can look in. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, I am not very uh, police-centric here. <laughs> Man, they are never going to catch this guy. What exactly did he do? Stealing from mailboxes. Definitely say it. This guy keeps stealing out of people's mailboxes. Asshole snagged a box of fancy washi tape I ordered online. <laughs> uh, see, I was picturing an actual mailbox bandit. You know, like hopping around on a post with a little mask on the door. Huh? You know, the mailbox is the bandit. <laughs> Sorry, it was a bad joke. Okay, they have some cameras. Cam one, cam two. Looks like one person. Oh god, this is a lot. Oh man. Mailbox band has been nine days and I still haven't had any mail. My granddaughter Madison is on her honeymoon at Great House Resort in Jamaica. Ricky does computer work. <laughs> Ricky does computer work, that's why they're going. Um, she said she could, would write, and you know Madison keeps her word. I have called every day for nine days, and every time Rosie makes some kind of excuse if this is because I don't write her recommendation for her son. <laughs> Tell her that has nothing to do with her doing her job. <laughs> Stealing my mail may not seem like much for you, but getting away with a crime makes the criminal more bold. How soon before you are after the mailbox Killer. <laughs> uh huh. I, I remind you, we donate to the policeman's fund every year, and it is easily for us. But we do it because we believe in law enforcement, unlike some others. This type of service we can expect, perhaps, though. Firefighters could use the support. Wormly, Loran. I mean, honestly, like, yeah, firefighters do need support, but, like, <laughs> threatening the cops, not a good idea. Just saying. No. So, you really hung out here a lot, huh? I mean, it's where. <laughs> What do you know? Still locked. Thanks, Tyler. Uh, why is everything locked? Mm. Doesn't want to see. Eddie must have locked it already. Uh, Eddie, I need your keys. Eddie, oh my god.
Ah. Something's in the way. You're in the way. You're not in the way, Allison. You're you're just doing fine. Tyler, you coming? I know this is a lot for you. And for Tyler, and for you both, especially since you're having to like armory. Ooh. I'm guessing this is where they stash all the guns and stuff. It's the armory. Well, it's not exactly Fort Meade, but yeah. You think we could find some files about Marianne in the archives? Um, uh, archives are off limits. I don't know, but it's off limits anyway. Maybe Eddie would show us her file? Honestly, it's not a bad idea. Can I break into the archives? Give me the archives. No, fine. Don't get guns. I don't get files. What do I get? Knocking on a door. Allison, hey. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? Coffee sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. Cool. Tyler has feelings on that one. And that's understandable. I'd lock those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. Same here. Yes, but you can both telepathically communicate, so there's kind of that too. And you're triggered because you're walking back through a section that, even though you've been here a billion times, it's new. This memory is up front. There it is. Where are we going? We're just gonna sit down in here and I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. Yeah. I just usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here. I would too. It's about to say that that is basically a suppression of memories. And I'm sorry, Allison. Uh, this is happening in a place where you have rebuilt a lot of good memories. I'm proud of you for it. Yeah. Get that door open. Yeah. Okay, let's go in. Ooh, locker room. Can't break in. Yep, it's locked. Hey, that coffee is sounding real good. Where's the break room? Right through here, I guess. Arctic puppies. Didn't Tessa Ooh. buzz Dawn for smoking weed behind the store once? Yep, but- Hey, is this Crazy D's locker? I think so. Yep, I think so. We need a key to open it. Okay, I mean, we have... Ooh. What's on your mind? Just thinking. No! About how we slept in that corner over there. Yeah. On that paper-thin mattress from the cell. It could have been a pillow top and I wouldn't have slept a wink. I don't know how you come here every week. I've been here ten minutes and it's already fucking me up. I 
You didn't stop thinking, you blocked it. It does still hurt. It never really stopped hurting. Been having nightmares too. Don't be weird with Eddie. Hey, do you have any reoccurring nightmares about that night? Yeah, why? Well, remember that nice lady from social services who picked us up? Oh, what was her name? Uh. Sandy, I think? Yeah. I used to dream about her a lot. Um, sorry, what? Yeah. It would always start out pretty normal, like we'd be sitting in the living room with Marianne doing a sewing lesson, and then suddenly she would turn into Sandy, and she would hold us in her arms, pulling us in tighter and tighter until I would wake up practically choking. Jesus. Don't be weird with Eddie. So, are things gonna be weird at all between you and Eddie? I took the gift, Allison. I'm trying to make an effort. Thank you, I know. I just want everything to be cool. It will be. Nice. Also, Tyler be on point. I'm glad that they have done such a great job of like making sure to translate trans issues into this game and they really did a good job I'm so glad to have this experience let's go yep yep let's go Twenty-one, twenty, nineteen, three. hmm yeah they've let this place get gross do you think they'll mind if I take one? Same cookies last week. Warn. These are definitely the same cookies that were here last week, but knock yourself out. Ugh, I'm so hungry. It's fair. Ew. There's a thing back there and a whole stairway? Snap. Allison, how about that coffee we were talking about? Ooh, Allison, that's gotta be a new how about record. that coffee we were talking about? Okay. Fine. How is this still warm? You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Hey, you okay? Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay? You okay? Honestly, no. Do you ever regret? No. No way. Well... Maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. It was a good thing. Ultimately. Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. Do you mind if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? Yep, we're going. All right. It's the first time I've been in here since that night. Eddie was so uncomfortable, he dropped a vase. Here. Um, have a seat. All right. Sorry. Huh, they kept this? What? It's that vase. They glued it back together. Huh, they did. It's actually really smart. 
What were you doing, though? Huh. Look what's that back there? Ah! No way. Have you been hiding back here all this time? Nice. So, isn't Brown waiting for us? We should head back to his office. I mean, yeah, but we just kind of, like, had a whole impactful moment, bro. Like, dude. Don't jump ahead. Also, oh my god, a payphone. I haven't seen those in forever. This is heavier than I expected. <clears throat> Why did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. You're awfully quiet. Yeah, sorry trying to deal, but it's a lot. I'm not that hungry. Okay. Is there anything else back here I missed? I think we're finding more than we did on the last playthrough, mainly because I was sitting there like, TRIGGERED! TRADEMARK! <laughs> oh, not fun. Now we have things open. Can I open the holding cell? No. Can I go open things upstairs? Ooh. Huh. She won't notice if we borrow this, right? No. Nope. As long as we put it back right where we found it, we're good. Goblin code. Why are we breaking into her locker? I have no idea, but I want to. This is the exact type of mischief I would get myself into. We really shouldn't be in here. Yes, but you never know where we might find information about that night. I guess so. Facts. 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 Balto came through. Balto! So Wilson leaves her locker key in her desk and her password reminder in her locker? That's so irresponsible. An intruder could easily access all kinds of police files with this. Yeah, like two goblin intruders. To all police department personnel, Rose Jackson, October 29th of 2015, new Ministry of Software, please reset your password with a... The introduction of the new Ministry of Software, all employees must reset their password. Please note that the reception desk computer cannot be accessed using any, uh-huh, it's Active Directory software. That's what they instituted. <laughs> oh, it's so old. Ah, right, that's fine. Old for 2015, just saying. Uh, <laughs> can now be accessed using any officer's ID and password. Okay. Um, and so, winner on my 20th birthday. Oh! You had a... Uh, 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 birthday. Yes. You had a birthday. You had a birthday. You had the birthday, yeah. When was your birthday? It was today. So, whenever. 20th. How old are you? How old are you? I should take her out for a birthday drink. Oof, I should have gotten her something. You're a terrible person. It's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. 
Okay, did that, but like... How old? 20th, and she is younger. Mare. That limits it to a lot. Um... She's obsessed with sled dog races now. Is that even a thing? Bit of an oddball. She's pretty cool. Uh, bit of an oddball. Yeah, I always thought she was a bit of an oddball. But in a good way. She's passionate. Passionate? Yeah. Oof, I should have gotten her something. You're okay. a terrible person. It's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. Can't break in here. Yes. Who? Rose never lets me back here. Huh? Rose left the computer on. Memo. Okay. Five letters. D Wilson, D. Wilson, so D, crazy D. Five letters, okay. Now we know, now we know, now we know. Okay, we're, we're in a good spot. Now we need to put back that letter. Put this back, back again. Goblins can't be cut here. Oh, wait. She's gonna give me so much crap for forgetting her birthday. <gasps> Tell me how old you are. Tell me how old you are. No, no. 29! Okay, it's 2015 minus 9. 2006? 2006. Dee Dee. Keep up the good work, Eddie. Another year. Prove that older doesn't mean wiser. Have a kick-ass day, DD Dan. Enjoy your last year of youth before joining the bitter 30-year-old lady club. Don't waste it, Rosie. Hope you enjoy having spicy chocolates. Happy birthday, D. Joshua. Happy birthday. You don't look a day over 100, Maria. Thanks, Maria. Let me put that back. Like a good goblin, hiding is there. 29, so 2006. Let's take a look at this one more time. I should take her out for a birthday drink. Five letters. Definitely not Jeff or King, so Salem. Is the answer here? We're look. The answer we're looking for is Salem. I hope. Here we go, bro, my love, my beautiful man. You are in the way. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Use. This is not how you scroll users. This is. It's not how you scroll users. Okay. Also, it doesn't... Even back then... Bingo. Anything juicy? <sighs> Just Denise's work emails. Please lecture at Youth Center. Girl, you're preaching to the choir. Looking forward to Friday. Kayla, co-director of... Judo Coalition of Equality. Hmm. Anything here? Okay. Hey, Kayla. Yep. I'll send you my slides as soon as I get home. I'm glad to hear this. Here's my secret for keeping kids' attention. Tales from the detox tank. <laughs> Last time I told them about how I got into a high-speed chase with a drunk guy on a snowmobile. 
Might have embellished some details, but it was all spiritually true. Lol. Whatever it takes to get your points across, right? Skid straight. No. That's the whole thing with the D.A.R.E. program. And I have to say, gonna be honest, D.A.R.E. program? Hilarious. As much as I'm sitting here like, the cops were white supremacists. There was some programs that were just hilariously bad. D.A.R.E.? Horrible. I was in fourth grade, and we were taught D.A.R.E. Hey D, are there any slides or reading material for Friday? Also wanted to let you know we have tons of people sign up. So excited for the good turnout. Wear your nicest suit. I think kids really enjoy your talks. Keep it up. Mm-hmm. The thing about D.A.R.E. <laughs> Stop and talk about D.A.R.E. We had a cop who literally sat there and tried to read through this, like, worksheet, workbook book that was given to us. And was talking about, like, different names for drugs and, like, how gangs were initiated. We lived in the middle of nowhere. I'm not kidding. We lived absolutely in buttfuck nowhere. And what did they teach these kids? Hey. There's these, there's gangs you can form. Here's how to form them. Here's the initiation process. And so literally, suddenly we had a gang spring up that was associated with the Bloods. They weren't. They just wore red. And they, I am not kidding you, were named the Heifers. Because there was a restaurant across the street from the school called the Heifer. And so to uh, commemorate that, they tagged cows. However, they only tagged one side of these cows, not both. So if the cows faced the wrong way, they weren't tagged. I'm not kidding. This happened. It's so dumb. <laughs> and we had this, we had like even like I had, I was friends with one guy who who was a part of the gang and he was like, "Yeah, I got jumped in." And I'm like, "You mean the the thing where everybody punches and kicks you for a minute?" He's like, "Yeah, and I survived cuz I'm tough." Like, that's so dumb. <laughs> He's like, no, it's- I'm tough. Are you sure? Yeah. Because of that, we suddenly had a gang problem in Hayesville. <laughs> so, what? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> you did- you done did dumb. Done did dumb there. Thank you for listening to Dainty Tank. Goes off on a tangent about this problem. Hello, thank you for shopping with us. Your order of Just Between Us Season 2 has been shipped. Okay? Are you telling us that you might be gay? Be happy about that, but uh, don't go through the Good Samaritan. <laughs> nope. J. Gregg's Dallas Crossing. Also found a set of keys. Miss Reynolds brought a set of keys as she found lying on the ground outside Vet Cheese this morning. Three small keys and the bottle opener keychain. If anyone's looking for them, they're in the lost and found cupboard. Woof. Filed this properly, but the new administrator of so software bullshit was down all day. Seriously, who has whose idea was it to change it? Um, hackers? <laughs> I'd like to invite them to a new two-way rifle round range I found. No, thank you. <sighs> I wanted to be open here. As soon as I read that, it's just like searing pain where I got shot. <sighs> Fuck that. You don't need to threaten people with gun violence. So many people die from gun violence. I was lucky to survive. It's not something to joke about. Oh no, Sam! Oh, Sam. He's the drunk what about one. <sighs> Sam's he got Kansky. arrested for public intoxication last week, and that was not his first offense. He's on a bit of a downward spiral. Hey, D. Just heads up, since you're picking up a relief ship tomorrow morning, 
Sam spent the night in the drunk tank again. Maria picked him up outside Bernie's last night, drunk out of his mind, terrorizing customers. He dozed off pretty quick once we got him to the station, so he better take. He should be better by the time you get there. He might have a huge hangover though, so I'd bring him a big ass coffee and donuts if I were you. Have fun. Okay. Lost and found, wherever that is. I'm pretty sure phone call by now. I am too, but I'm not about to let this go. Where's lost and found? Uh, Chief Brown asked council to reconsider budget. No, I hate to say this. We don't need to spend more on police. We need to spend more on other social services. And when I say I don't I hate to bring this up. It's mainly like I'm talking about all of the worst of the police. They serve a function that's outdated in our society and there's a lot of hesitancy to do anything that would change that. In a lot of ways we first need to prop up the system in different ways. So removing the budget that's from the police into social services that would help us. Check out this masterpiece. <laughs> you made it? Uh-huh. I glued it to the pot one day when I was bored, and nobody has bothered to peel it off. Nice. Lost and found. Okay, we know what's in there. What's lost and found? Sitting not in here. Doesn't look like it's in here. Tyler, do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Could you tell me where the lost and flat found is here, though? Even though I lived much more here than you did. Lost and found be an administrative function. No, it doesn't look like it. Will you go across? Go! I don't know about this. I think it should be in here. The locker room area. It only looks like one of them is something that is doable and searchable. Everything else is kind of meh. Hmm. Alright, fine. We'll go upstairs. We did it! We searched! Having keys is not a bad idea. Hey, can we break into the armory? Hey, ah. sorry that took so long. Dang it. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Hey, do you remember this guy? Yeah, of course. How can I forget? Tyler Ronan, back in Delos Crossing. <laughs> it's uh, good to be back. And just look at you. A man grown. Yep, guess I ate my Wheaties. The whole clan's so proud of you. How you work with those kids at Fireweed? I always say children are the future. I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> Come on, bro. She stole her entire act from me. Everybody knows that. Look at you two. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? <laughs> yeah. Not sure how I got by without this dork. Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marianne's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh yeah? Marianne worried about something. Marianne worried about something. Let's actually get into this. Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No. 
She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Your mom. Never knew her to hate anyone for being unconventional. Usually. It's the other way around. Hmm. What were her da last days like? Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Mm -hmm. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for weeks. Maybe a month before. Thank you. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. <laughs> we don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. No. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. <laughs> Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, her police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. But you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you going to help us? Or are you going to be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. Yeah. That's what this is about. Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense, but we couldn't be sure. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal, and you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please, let's move on. She's never gonna tell you how much that hurt her. But it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, yeah. Allie? Oh, you're putting Allison in a tough spot here, but keeping them apart was wrong. <sighs> Look, Uncle, separating us like that did not help me heal. If anything, it was the opposite. Even if he had been dangerous, I'd have taken the risk. Being apart was that miserable. I didn't know you felt that way, little moose. It was hard to talk to you about it. I didn't want to seem ungrateful. Look, we've all fucked up. And we've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just move on? Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I... I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. <laughs> Don't wanna send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay, let's go. We'll be back. We'll be back. Who's that? What the fuck? I forgot about this. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Oh no. So ominous. Stop! No.
Mom, I'm sorry I cut my hair. I won't do it again. I'm going to kill you! No, please. That's gotta hurt knowing that Tyler ran away for it. I know it was sitting there like I lied, but it was like, oh, I love this so much. I love it so much. I can't like, don't nod. Why you do this to me? Why you make me feel the feels? Why do you make me do the things? Ah! Oh my god. Thank you for listening on this one. I know I, I wax prophetic a little bit on this one, but it's a, important for you to know why I'm talking about this. Like, and I'm trying to be very specific about the triggers that are happening to me as well. Like, reading through and understanding what's going on. It's such a gorgeous game and such an impactful game and so important and they did such a good job on it like it's a gorgeous game and i think that like the first one or two chapters is free so you could play this yourself as well i just uh you're getting me so many feels all of the feels why? Why? Because you do. <sighs> All right. Allison! Allison was happy that Tyler accepted that he's peace offering. 74% accepted the ring. 15 refused. Then 11 threw the ring in the water. <laughs> oh, that's gotta be cruel. Bloop. Now someone was delighted to solve the princess's riddle with her brother. 81% solved the riddle! Cool. Uh, Tyler felt supported by Allison's trust at the store. 52. So it's a very close, like, half and half Tyler versus Allison memory. 70% sided with Tyler. Yup. That's about the same percentage that went uh, with uh, saving Chloe, Chloe, like 70% like saved Chloe from Life is Strange. I'll go with that 70%. 55% called out Sam. Tyler earned Sam's respect. No, you need to call out Sam. So near 50%. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Only a little less than half learned the truth. Quarter didn't answer. Another quarter antagonized. Eddie felt rejected by Allison when she didn't side with him. 
<laughs> yeah, seventy percent so with Tyler. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay. So what now? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Yeah! Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive. Go big or go home. Go big or go home. Marianne murder report. Let's do it. <laughs> Leaving this here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out. I love you all. And I'll see you next time. Bye.